Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Rainbow Gypsy here. And on my channel we discuss all things makeup, movies, television shows, and on occasion we play video games. Whew, I'm out of breath, I don't know why. So actually today we will be playing a game I've been dying to play. This is Man of Madon. So this is from the developers of Until Dawn. So I think the dynamic and the aesthetic is relatively similar, but we're gonna see how it goes. All right, let's play guys. Yeah, 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 yada, yada. Okay. Oh, skip to the end. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 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 we got it. So adjust the slider until the left image is invisible, the middle image is barely visible, and the right image is clearly visible. I think that's the default. We're gonna leave it as default. Okay. Embark on your own single player story. Yeah, we don't have any friends. <laughs> so we're gonna play alone, guys. Actually, for first, settings let me check subtitles and everything before i actually start the game let's see okay so audio and language controls are relatively fine um audio language english toggle subtitles on text language on so what the hell is toggle we're gonna okay yes we are good to go okay guys so I'm excited. I This is relatively a blind, oh, excuse me, I'm burping. So this is relatively a blind playthrough. I've seen maybe 10 minutes of gameplay and that is it from this game. But I'm super intrigued by it. This came out, I believe, last year. I'm not too sure if it was the middle of last year, the beginning of last year, if I'm correct. Um, and I do know that they are coming out with a new, because um, this is an, an anthology series, so the new one I believe is called Little Hope or something like that. It should be coming out later on this year, so hopefully I beat this one in time and we will get to the new one when it comes out. I'm looking forward to it. So Chinese market, China South Sea, new story. Let's go guys. I'm excited. Oh man, my, my cat is going all over my makeup stuff. I'm gonna wanna kill her, but hopefully she just walks away quickly. Get down from there, girl. Come here. All right, I'm excited. Come on, don't be too long, loading screen. So I'm gonna only do about the first uh, 15 to 20 minutes of this. We'll see how far we get. Maybe I'll do it until like the, t oh, well, we already got a title card, but maybe I'll do it until it says another chapter or so and so. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I love these kind of games. Like this and Life is Strange has given me life as of late. So I'm definitely intrigued by it. Yeah. You can definitely tell the people that made Until Dawn made this game. It's awesome. I'm also enjoying a nice cold beer, guys. Do not have work tomorrow, but I do have an interview for another job because my current job is garbage. And yeah, <laughs> that's where I'm at right now, guys. Went from working about 60 hours every two weeks to like 15 if I'm lucky. I don't know what the hell they were thinking when they merged. Look. I'm gonna shiny watch, girl. I remember in Until Dawn it was like totems or something. Were they drunk? They got drunk. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. Mm -hmm. What's in store for me, Pop? So I am Joe, and this is the post World War II. So use uh, to choose. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh. Is he gonna grow up alright? Things gonna work out for him? Aw. Uh -huh. It's not about our little son. Hi, daughter. Okay. 
Bamboo tile dragon. I like the bamboo. Tell me what you see. A fish. Looks like a fish. Okay. Your fortune may come from any direction. Like a mysterious wind. That's morbid. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Trait updated. Altruistic, insecure, reckless, and selfish. Oh, lovely. <laughs> We're trash. <laughs> Guys, this quick time stuff, I'm going to have to work on. I guarantee you I'm going to mess this up, but we'll go. We'll give it a go. Wait, hold on. Let me take a swig of my beer. Hold up. I'll give it a whirl. Excuse me. Okay, it's definitely going easy on me now. Because I'm going to press it wrong at one time. Ah! Bitch! Ah! I missed just one, really. <laughs> eh, I'm drunk, so it happens. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Traits updated. Reckless, selfish, insecure, ultra. How did that update? We're still trash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> come, Artemis. Come play, baby. Oh, I miss my kitty cat. I've been gone for about a week in Tampa. I literally just got back about like 30 minutes ago. I cleaned up my room a little bit. Just tidied up a bit. I fed her some treats. I'm gonna give her some wet food soon. Come, babe. Come lay with me while I'm playing video games. Come, come. Come, come. Come lay over here. I miss you. That's a good girl. Oh, do, do, do. Cute girl. She's a cutie, baby. Come lay, baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't break my wire, though. Daddy is broke. He doesn't have money for another headset. Okay, so what the hell was that cargo? Ow, your nails are sharp. We gotta trim those, girl. Hey, man. Hey, where's my... Where's my 50 cents? Damn. 50 cents? What 50 cents? Come on, man. Hey, buzz off, buddy. Nobody pushes me. Damn, he got clocked in the face, honey. He's like, what 50 cents? That is messed up. He gonna let you, lent you that money with not, no problem, and you gonna play him like that? Excuse me. My cat's being weird. She's playing in the wall unit where all the video games are at and the movies. Girl, don't mess up my setup, girl. Don't unplug nothing, I'll beat you up. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Excuse me. Oh, no. She's going, yeah, she's gonna. Artemis, please be careful. Don't unplug nothing. Oui. Oh, you know something's going down. 
So I love the uh, like the concept that they're doing with this is like it's an anthology series. Ooh, something ratchet was in those in that cargo. Something crazy. Don't mess with wires, Artemis. I definitely love the aesthetic, uh, like one series, like, like sort of like how they do with um, American Horror Story, the TV show. Like every uh, series is different. Come, Artemis, get out of there. Damn, why are they? Goodness gracious. Alrighty, we are up, out, and about. Joe, sick bay. 1.36 a.m. Okay. Oh, yeah, I gotta get used to these, this control. Artemis, I'm gonna take a picture of you. Look cute. Is that my child? Two pops come back soon. Bendito. Yeah, I have a feeling we're not coming back. <laughs> I definitely want to go back and play um, Until Dawn. Ooh! Goodness gracious. Whew. Guys, I don't remember that. <laughs> that kind of scared me a little bit. Okay, he got a key. We got some monies, we got a key. We gotta pick that up, I'm assuming. Okay. So there's a dead body, like super dead. Like how the F, I wanna know how he got in there. And yeah, what's going on here, buddy? Okay. And he was locked in the room with me? How the hell did that happen? That's weird. Man, we got beat up. Can I look behind me? No, okay. I love the graphics too. I think they do really well with these games. Like, so far, so good. I absolutely loved Until Dawn. I, I think I might wanna go back and play that on my channel at some point. Like, maybe before Little Hope comes out, like for the part two of this anthology series, because it does come out later this year. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. And get my 50 cent. <laughs> That's what she should've said. Me too. And there was a, a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Girl, you don't gotta tell me. Uh, hello, why you push me? Let's go, girl. Did I come from this way or? Oh, I'm done, fire. Oh God, this is gonna drive me nuts. Get out of here. Oh man. Everybody's going crazy. Well, all right then. Somebody's going crazy. Wasn't that the guy that punched us in the face? I'm pretty sure there was. So guys, I'm definitely 100% gonna be playing this through, like the complete game. I'm not gonna be doing bits and pieces and stuff like that. I'm hoping to play Resident Evil Revelations as well, like through and through, but maybe just give like some raid mode. What, hold up, hold up. Off topic, sorry, let me focus on the game because I just saw a little child run if I'm correct. All right, something's shining over there. So we're definitely gonna, hello? No, I wanna check that out, what is that? I'm scared. Hey, Charlie, help. What? No. Let's try this again, because I don't know if I was doing it right. 
Damn it. <gasps> Freaking crap. <laughs> I just wasted so much time <laughs> doing that just to get scared. Oh no. I hate jump scares. My heart can't take it. Guys, I played The Evil Within like the first 20 minutes, I want to say, the other day on my channel. Oh my goodness, I can't. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue that game like that. That game was way too much in the first like 30 minutes. It stressed me out. God damn. Another step? Let's check him out, shall we? Damn it. Fuck me. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Damn, he got petrified. Let me find out that chick from the ring is on the boat. Okay, so um, we're going to here, I'm guessing. Damn it, he just left me like, girl, wait. What you doing? There's something watching me that's creepy. <gasps> what is this? Press to walk faster. L1? Wait. Hold up. Hold up. What does it say? L1? Oh, okay. Uh, is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? Oh, stop it. You look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Oh, no, honey. Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh, no. Feeling all right? <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> That was creepy. Charlie, get over here. Another dead body. Oh, there's a there's a bunch. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry for burping in your ears, guys. I'm sorry. All I know is if I see a little demon child, I'm shooting it. I'm sorry. Oi, but that's scary. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Where am I? What the hell? Hey, come here. Oh God, no. Charlie! Um, shoot. How? Absolutely not. Oh, lovely. What happened? Oh my god! What's wrong? Um, what happened? Girl. I don't get it. I'm confused. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? So I'm dead. 
It's the ring! Girl! <laughs> what is going on? Alright guys, I'm definitely in it. I definitely want to continue this game and see what the hell is up. What's the tea? What is going on on that boat? Um, I'm pretty sure I'm dead, so I will be playing with other people. That's how these games usually work. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh my god, I am burping so much because of this beer. Oh yeah. Sean Ashmore, okay. Now, if I'm correct, Sean Ashmore played Iceman in the first, how many movies was he in? Not part one. Was he in part one? The first X-Men, the second, and the third? Right? I'm pretty sure he was, actually. And I think he's in a show called Killjoys on Sci-Fi as well. Needless to say, I, I do know who Sean Ashmore is. He's a pretty good actor. I remember in Until Dawn they had Hayden Panettiere in the game. Um, I can't remember who else. I remember the counselor, like the therapist guy that you speak to in the game is, um, what was he in that movie? The Bodyguard or something like that? Or The Hitman? I can't remember. Hi huh, Artemis, what you doing baby? Come here. Come come. Oh no, we gotta we gotta give you some more wet food. I like you chunky. Damn boo, I'm gone for a few days and you you dropped two pounds? What's going on there? I'm loving the rock song right now. I'm loving the intro. This is, I feel like this is foreshadowing like stuff that we were seeing. Um, I don't know if it's for this game or other games in the future, but I'm so stoked for the new one coming out. Love the, what they do with these games. It's so cool. Hello. Hi, how are you? And welcome. Thank you. To my repository. Oh, uh, what a gentleman. Oh, excuse me. I am the curator. The curator of stories. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Cool. Stories such as this one. Okay. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish. Oh, guys, I gotta sneeze. Hold on. Snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass, and we have to live with those decisions. Or I think it was a false, false, ugh, false but you alarm. Fear death. It is, after all inevitable it is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes eventually to everybody still none of us want for it to come too soon do we nope as in life the actions you take matter the choices you make will affect others I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one okay. for There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Okay, cool. Or should I say decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. Awesome sauce. That's all for the moment. 
we'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. I didn't do nothing. Okay. Alright guys, I think I'm going to cut it short for now. And we are going to continue this later on or tomorrow, guys. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. This is Rainbow Gypsy again. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell at the bottom. That way you know each and every time I post new content. Guys, I am super excited to continue this. I'm probably going to do another video and have it uploaded as well. But I just wanted to get the introduction out there. So I will see you on the flip side, guys. Love you and bye.